morning, cadre. Man, we're getting to the end of the letters. All right, so yesterday with V, we went with visions and revisions. Uh, also shaved with the Blackland Zvekta. Uh, but today was W. And surprisingly, there were many choices. I thought all these into the alphabet letters would be, I wouldn't have any or just one or two, but W has lots of choices. Let's see, we did West, uh, something, something West Indies. Is it just West Indies? By Towel and Steel. Um, West Indian Lines. Uh, the whole Holy Cow. Cow line, holy cow, cow, whatever. Um, no, I went with wake the F up. I, yeah, I get it. The, the, the title can be a little abrasive. The picture's kind of funny, though. Um, smells like coffee. Um, I'm shaving with the Orin razor. Just nothing to do with uh, W. Just wanna. I guess wanna. That starts with a W. Lots to talk about today. Uh, we'll just see where the conversation takes us. So, speaking of coffee, and this rolls into what's been happening I'm slowly in my shaved in. Um, woke up this morning, and the picture, so I don't offend anybody flipping through YouTube uh, with the picture of the, the front of the soap, uh, is a picture out our back door today. I'm just good. I thought it looked really cool. I had to get up and wanted to go take a, a, a picture. It's going to be a nice, sunny, warm day. Um, and I'm on the west side of the San Francisco Bay. Usually where the, the foggy side. Um, but today, um, we look over the San Francisco airport. And there's fog. It looks just started on the other side of the airport and covering up uh, Oakland and that side of the bay. Or at least in between us, I couldn't see it. And sometimes you get the kind of where the bay, the land opens up where the Golden Gate Bridge is. The fog kind of rolls in through there and that's likely what's happening. Sometimes when you fly out of here, it's really cool. When you're up on the plane, you can actually see that. You can see the land and you see the fog, almost like water just rolling through. Anyway. I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, cause it's nice and clear here, but we couldn't see the, uh, the other side of the bay or the bay at all. So anyway, what's going on is that reminded me very much of being on a cruise ship because our deck had a little bit of dew on it because it's getting already kind of warm and I don't know, whatever causes that. It reminded me of being on a cruise ship because you'll get up and it's, you know, you'll be in the tropics or whatever and you know it's gonna be a warm day. But if you're up like early in the morning to watch the sunrise and stuff like that, a lot of times there's dew on the uh, the wood and stuff like that. And uh, I was just really wishing that I had a cup of coffee. That'd have been the perfect time, just the, the perfect atmosphere, literally, just to sit outside um, just, just a touch of chill in the air, um, but nice and quiet. And anyway, so that reminds me of being on a cruise ship, which will roll into what I've been kind of slowly doing. Um, I, let's say the, most of the family are Disney fans. I would say I'm, I'm specific. I am a Disney Cruise Line fan. I would be fine never going back to the park ever again. But they're cruises. Oh, man, I'm jonesing. We've got one scheduled for next summer. And I'll say, we'll see, we'll see what's going on with, with everything. I was even, you know, I, was, I would love to... Uh, man, anyway, I've, I've been... Thinking, well, geez, what if they cut the rates on the cruises at the end of this summer? I'd serious, seriously have to think about that. Um, until there's a vaccine or more time passes, I don't know that I even want to be flying somewhere at this point. Um, and I, 
doubt that Disney will have to cut the prices, boy, they are, I don't know what'll happen in the parks. If they're letting in fewer people because of distancing and stuff like that, I'm betting that they'll jack up the prices and people, they'll, they'll sell the tickets. Same with their cruise line, they only have four cruise ships. Um, yeah, they're building two more, um, but, the demand is there. There are never any sales, no cut rate prices, nothing. It's because they don't need to. People are still frustrated that their current cruises are being canceled. Anyway, getting off topic. So I've just been, I maybe because we can't go anywhere and do anything, had to cancel our summer trip. It wasn't a cruise, but just knowing that we don't have anything to look forward to. And I've always been one that I've always wanted a vacation on the books. So you can always, even if it's a year away or something, just so you can know that something's going to happen, something to look forward to. Um, but, uh, so if you, if you don't know, I talked about it, geez, is it years ago at this point? Uh, when we were looking for a new bed, uh, we tried sleep number and that did not work out. Uh, so ended up just going regular mattress and ended up finding who makes the mattresses on the Disney Cruise Line and got one of those. And I wouldn't say I'm obsessed, but I do have several Disney Cruise Line t-shirts and uh, got Disney Cruise Line socks so I can wear Disney Cruise stuff to work. And of like a little windbreaker that I'll wear at work if it gets cold. You know, not crazy. This is like all solid blue with their little logo in the corner. Stuff like that. Um, I wore this specifically too today. Let's see that O'Gill's Pub. See that? That's, that's on the cruise ship. I didn't, I didn't get this on the cruise ship. I got it off of eBay. I found it as a bargain a while ago. I know it's green. I wore it to show Dave that... I do have a green shirt because, because it's worth it. So anyway, uh, I don't know. You know, you just get obsessed with something, get something in your head. And especially, you know, I guess if you're one that's going to collect, you know, tons of razors and shaving soaps and stuff like that, you got that personality. So anyway, I've just been, since I can't, just book a cruise now and I'm Jones and now I'm just wanting to I don't know, embrace it how I can. Um, so off of eBay, I found a bath mat, just kind of, you know, like the smaller, thicker towels that they'll have in a hotel you put in front of the shower. Um, <clears throat> except this one from the cruise line, you know, they don't sell them. So obviously somebody stuck that in their, in their uh, luggage. I should have done that. Um, I found out you can buy, they used to uh, sell individual, I don't know, just, just, you can't see my fingers, squeeze bottles of their soaps and shampoos and all that stuff, where um, that's what they would stock in your shower, in your cruise room. Um, and people, you know, we would always take the extra lotions and stuff like that. So I do have um, some Disney Cruise lotions still. Um, but I never really thought of stocking up on the shampoos and stuff like that. And they stopped doing that. Now they have big, huge pump bottles in there that they just fill up to save on plastic. And I imagine tons of people were taking the other ones home. So, um, but you can still on eBay get the smaller individual bottles. And I thought, eh, that's a little bit much. Paying, you know, an extra cost for shampoo plus shipping just to... But in some research, I realized the company that makes it for Disney, and I guess not just their cruise ships, but their um, resorts as well, sells it on their website. It doesn't have Disney branding, but it's funny. You go to their, it's um, H2O Plus. Just the like H and the number two and then O and then the plus, or I think you might spell it out. Anyway, they're the ones that make it. If you go to their website, they even have like a little link like as seen in Disney resorts and it shows you like which products they use there. So 
Got to rinse out my stuff. So just if you like it, you can get it or same thing. If you were kind of obsessed with Disney and you want to, uh, you know, have the experience when you're not there, it might remind you of, you know, your hotel room at the Grand Californian or Grand Floridian or whatever, or the cruise ship, you can get it. So I've held off, no reason to rush. It's, they've used the same stuff for years and years. Uh, but I think I will likely get the shampoo. I don't use, you know, I don't use much shampoo. And I got, so when I get like a bottle, right now I've got like a big bottle. You, see, you can't see, see how big this is? Big bottle. Of like you know, three in one. So I don't know what is it, three. It's a shampoo, body wash, and is it conditioner? How can it? Anyway, you know, it's going to take freaking six months for me to use that. So um, I only use it as shampoo because recently, along with, you know, I enjoy shaving for many reasons, and one of those is getting to use different scents every day. And I figured, I used to use body wash all the time, but get back into bar soap, and you can buy beautiful smelling bar soaps. And you don't use a different one every day, but then you can change. Every time you change, it can change to a different scent. So get some enjoyment there. So I'm gonna stick with that, but I think the shampoo, I will, next time I need to order shampoo, I'll get me some as seen on Disney Cruise Line shampoos. Um, just ordered off of eBay. Um, you can get um, white, like terry cloth robes from uh, the Disney online store with the Disney Cruise Line logo and stuff like that. That's not what they have on the cruise ships. On the cruise ships in your uh, closet, or if you go to the spa, they have, so the ones on the Disney shop have different sizes. The ones on the cruise line is a one size fits all. We'll see if it fits. Um, and it's like a silver embroidered logo. It's not in color or anything like that. So I was able, they do sell them for, f for new. They do sell them new on eBay, you know, individuals. <clears throat> but that's a little, I thought is a bit much uh, for this craziness that's going on. But I did find a used one um, much lower price. So I'm excited to have that come in. Anyway, just the, just the stepping outside onto the dewy wooden deck, uh, kind of brought all that up and I thought I would share that all with you. Um, you missed me. I did use, I got a, sorry, there's lemon. <clears throat> this, I, I know is going to be the last use. Look, we got a little bit in there. Oh yeah, that's it. There's like two, we'll just empty that on out. That's it, all gone. Uh, but don't worry, we're good. Man, so that was, I had a lot of other stuff I could talk about, but uh, tomorrow should be an interesting shave video if I'm in the mood. I've got something planned. It probably wouldn't be, it won't be released until the next day, so tomorrow's Friday, so it wouldn't be actually uploaded till Saturday, because it's going to take some editing. But, if I'm in the right mindset at the beginning of the day, it should be interesting. And I'll just leave it at that. Um, I'll be back. We'll talk about more stuff next time. Uh, for now on, see you on the forums.